this is the location of the septic, right? Yeah, this is how I locate the tank. Okay. So not too invasive or anything like that. So again, we're here with JT, and he is with TamaronSeptic.com. That's T-A-M-E-R-O-N-S-E-P-T-I-C.com. <laughs> That's okay. So, JT, I'm going to ask you a few questions, and for some of the folks out there, because they often want to know, um, you know, how often their septic needs to be pumped. The tank should be pumped out every every five years. The tank should be pumped out with a house with a family of three. Okay. A family of three or more should be every three years. And and then again, it also depends on the size of septic tank the property has. And most of the horse properties in and around Arizona have septic tanks, yes. Most of them do, yes. The, most of the ones that are like in on the county islands, Queen Creek. Mesa has a bunch of horse property with septic tanks, Patch Junction, Gilbert, they all, they all pretty much have septic tanks unless it's a planned development where they put city sewer available. Should people be afraid to buy a home that has a septic tank, you Not think? Not okay. It's actually better to have a house with a septic tank, I think, than having a, a city sewer available. Why is that? Because you don't have to, you know what to maintain, you can maintain your own system, you have problems on your own system, you can fix them, um, they just last a lot longer than city sewer, you don't have the rate hike that a lot of the, the, the towns do, like, well, it, it could cost, say, if you had to spend a thousand dollars to get your septic tank serviced, it would, uh, you divide that over the length of period that you're at the house, and it could come up to pennies on the dollar. Okay. And how does someone know when their septic needs to be pumped? Like, say they just bought a house, and, you know, they, they get it pumped when they, when we can go into that a little bit more, but once it's, um, when they move in, and maybe they do a for sale by owner or something, and the guy doesn't, doesn't pump it. Right. Um, how would they know when it needs to be pumped, because that happened to us. The, you would be able to tell by getting smells coming out of the bathroom, sort of the sinks, um, toilets not flushing correctly, they're acting slow, um, taking a shower or using, flushing the toilet, the water coming back up in the, in the shower, and also by it gurgling. When it gurgles, that means you're going to have a flood. Okay, and like wet spots in the grass and stuff, I right. think you said? Yeah, okay. wet spots in the grass. Um, if you have dogs, they'll be digging where the wet spots are at. And what should we put in it, if anything? Is there, like, can we buy something off your website, or what do you have there? I, I sell a product that's a dry biological digestion that it's a year supply that goes into the septic tank. You just flush it down the toilet once a month, and that helps with odors, it helps digest pretty much everything that's in a septic tank, except for feminine products. Okay. Those are not good to be put in the septic tank. Just ask away and I'll okay. try to answer them loud. Okay, so JT, we were just talking about the dry biological digestant, I yeah. think you called it. You said it's about 65 bucks a year to maintain, right? Yes, yes ma'am. And they can get that on your website? Yes, they can go to the website and email me, and then I can uh, get their address and either mail it to them or deliver it personally. Okay, excellent. And what about irrigated? Because a lot of the horse properties around here are irrigated horse properties, and some folks may not know what that means, but there's a link on our site where they can check that out. What it, you know, Basically, it gives the horse property owners the opportunity to have green pastures, and like this property, it looks like it is irrigated. Right. So... Is it better to get that irrigation off of their septic system, or what, what kind of problems does that cause, if any? 
It is. The best The best thing to do is not have any irrigation on top of the septic tank at all. Um, problems that it can have is water seeping through the cracks of the lids and filling up the septic tank, causing backups and a lot of, a lot, a lot of problems for a homeowner. Okay. What if a new homeowner wants to plant some trees and they're not really sure how to find their, their septic or they're not sure if it's okay to plant trees on top of it? What's your take on that? To get a hold of us, to get a hold of us and have us come out and find their septic tank and show it, mark it out with paint or something and, and make sure that the, uh, that the trees they want to plant aren't going to be anywhere near the septic tank. And if they are, to plant trees that don't have a deep rooting system. Okay, what kind of like trees? A lot of water. What kind of trees are those? Uh, pine trees, eucalyptus trees, cottonwood trees, mulberries, oleanders are probably the worst thing that you can have next to a septic system that uh, that require a lot of water. They will find the water in the septic tank and just destroy the septic tank. Okay. And you can you can come out and locate it. Yep. What what kind of fee is that for, to um, do that? Usually it's eighty five dollars to come out and locate it and mark it. And okay, that's good. Um, all right. And how how much like if I was going to do by land and do a new home, how much is it to put a brand new system in? A brand new system. I believe a brand new system would run anywhere between ten and fifteen thousand dollars, just depending on the size of the home and the size of septic tank that's going to be required for that home. Okay. And then when someone buys a home, it's there's a requirement by in order to transfer the property right. that they have the system pumped. Pumped, is, inspected. Uh, a notice of transfer needs to be filed with the counties, either Pinal County, Maricopa County. And uh, I believe the fee for the transfer is 50 bucks. Okay. $50. And, uh, and just the regular inspection, whatever the rate is at the time of the inspection. And you work with the agent, and the, I know you work with us a lot. You work with the agent and the title company yes. to make that all happen, so it's not a hassle yep, a to the... Of, a lot of it can be paid through escrow. A lot okay. of the times people prefer it that way instead of having to, to come up with the money okay. right then and there. Now, I notice the hole that you're digging isn't very big. Um, sometimes people are concerned that your whole yard is going to be torn up and... Right. And is it typical that it's not, you don't really have to be too intrusive? The only time you have to get into a, uh, problems like that with digging the yard up is when you have problems with the sewer line broken or smashed. Uh, that goes back to that Orangeburg pipe that we were talking about. Um, a lot of the times, if the septic tank's really deep, then we have to dig a bigger hole just to get down there and pull the lids off and clean the tank. But other than that, couple holes this size is all you're going to basically get. Okay. So relatively easy. And what is a typical um, pumping cost? I don't think I asked you that. Um, just to pump a tank right now runs anywhere between 225 to 425 Okay. And and when you say pump it, is that of all liquids and solids or that's, just liquids? That's or? liquids. The 225 will get you the liquids pumped out. The 425 We'll get the entire system cleaned out. Okay. Remove all the solid sludge, everything that's in the tank. And you don't do just septic systems, right? No, no. What else do, do you do? Uh, some residential plumbing and portable toilets. Okay. So they can, if somebody was having a party or yep. whatever, they could rent those from Parties, you. Weddings, any kind of festivals, you name it. I can supply porta johns and hand washing stations. Okay. And um, what kind of pricing do you have on those? Does it, it depend? It just depends on the event. Okay. And how many they're getting and everything? How many, what, how much, uh, how many times they want them serviced throughout the day. Um, just, just on quantity, I guess, how many they want. Okay, cool. So if somebody's buying a horse property in Arizona, they could call you and ask you questions about their septic system and... Oh, yeah. They feel free to give me a call anytime. Okay. And what's your phone number? 480-220-7133. Okay, awesome. Thanks so much for being here with us today. You're welcome. Okay, bye-bye.